friends and welcome back to Sharon B Teaching. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Sharon, nice to meet you. And this year I will be teaching grade two. So if you have been following my classroom setup vlogs, you know that today is day six of setting up my classroom with me. Lots more organizing, lots more sorting. I hope you are ready. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go. Come on, what are you waiting for? Why are you still sitting there? Let's go, I need some help. I have just come to accept the fact that I have to sit here and cut out all these alphabet posters, so I might as well just get started right now. I feel like you guys don't need to watch me cut out like 26 alphabet posters, so I'm just gonna catch you guys later when I'm all done. On the bulletin and I am whoopsies putting out my number line and I'm using this special tape called the Mavilus tape apparently it doesn't rip off or damage any of the paint on your wall so I'm hoping it lives up to its name and actually works because we don't need any more paint coming off of our classroom walls okay this was this was freshly painted and the last thing we want is to ruin the walls again so hopefully this stuff works um, I think we've waited about like two and a half weeks now for the paint to dry and cure and set so we should be good and I'm using the special tape so let's hope for the best. I am happy to announce that I have successfully put up all my alphabet posters and my whole entire number line up until the number, where are we at? 101. Would you look at that? Friends, I have a little bit of a dilemma. So here in this basket, I have so many bags of leftover school supplies for my previous students that I just don't know what to do with them anymore. And at this point, like, they're just kind of, I don't know, all over the place. Like some of them are very used up, some of them not so much, and some of them are even like brand new supplies, like erasers and pencils and pencil crayons that have been barely been touched. So I'm thinking that I might just keep these instead of throwing them away, because they were going to be thrown away, but I thought that was wasteful. So I actually went out to Walmart, picked one of these three drawer organizers up for around like 12 bucks. And I'm just gonna use it as a lost and found for storing pencil crayons. Um, I don't know, maybe this is gonna work. We're gonna give it a shot and I'll let you know how it goes throughout the year. So that's my job for the next, I don't know how many hours. So after about 15 minutes of endless sorting madness, I have filled up tubs and tubs of markers, of pencils, pencil crayons, erasers, markers, and highlighters, and just miscellaneous items like glue and scissors. And I really don't think I can keep all these supplies, so I just might find um, somewhere to donate them to, give them to someone else who might need them more than um, I do or my students do because beginning of the year they're going to be coming in with their own new supplies and these are kind of just like the leftover stuff that we're going to end up using once they run out of their own. So I don't know, maybe I'll just find um, 
somewhere to donate them or maybe like a school supplies drive if they accept kind of gently used school supplies i'll figure it out but this is kind of bizarre to see all this almost go to waste so i'm definitely gonna figure out a solution to this don't you worry guys don't you worry my friends I hope you are not sick of the copious amounts of sorting footage I have included in my vlog so far. That's just the reality of setting up a brand new classroom. Well, in my experience at least, I just have a whole bunch of stuff to sort and organize. So the next sorting task I have to share with you guys is sorting all this kind of, not necessarily scrap paper, but a lot of just leftover paper that I've had collected over time somehow accumulated into this giant pile that I will save for future art projects. So the reason why I have just like random strips of paper is because when I make um, resources for the students, um, you know, when you cut them to scale, you end up with a lot of excess waste. And so I decided, you know what, we're going to save these and we're going to use them for an art project. But I haven't got around to it last year because this was kind of saved from like the end of the year. So hopefully this year um, I will make some good use out of it. But I just have to figure out like what I need, what I don't need, get her this... Don't need you. Get rid of the stuff I don't need. Keep the stuff, you know, that looks uh, useful for potentially an art project or might not be art or something else. And yeah, go through, wow, go through all of this stuff. I look like a hoarder, but I swear to goodness I am not a hoarder. And I'm trying really hard to stay away from accumulating things I don't need. So yeah, let's have some fun and start sorting. Half of this stuff is like really good quality paper. Like a lot of this is just like heavyweight cardstock. And I just refuse to get rid of it because cardstock's expensive and you gotta savor it. Sorry, not savor. Do you eat cardstock? I don't eat cardstock. You know what I mean. It's been a long day. Alrighty friends, so that is it for day six of setting up my classroom with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to Share and Be Teaching for more classroom setup videos. I'll be vlogging the whole entire thing until the classroom is completely done and I will show you guys the end result. So please don't forget to stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.